Hey, Kristen here. I have five alternatives to disposable plastic bags and wrap to review for you today. The first thing I have for you is a set of three bags that you can order from Grove. You get a snack size, a sandwich bag size, and then a larger size that's a little bit more like a gallon bag. I like these because they have really wide openings to them and also because you can get such a large size which is great. It really takes the place of something like a gallon Ziploc bag. Some other reusable bags that I like are made by a company called Stasher. They are silicone and they're dishwasher safe. I have sort of a sandwich bag size and then a larger size that are used for food storage as well. These are sturdy and like I said, you can wash them in the dishwasher. My only complaint about them is that the opening is really not big enough. This bag is plenty large enough to hold a regular sandwich, but the opening makes it really tight. If they made the opening just a quarter inch larger, I would give these an A+. My next idea is admittedly not earth shaking, but just in case you haven't thought of this before, you can just reuse commercial bread bags. Um, if you buy hamburger buns or a loaf of bread, you can just shake the crumbs out and reuse that bag. That's particularly helpful for baked goods. I have here a loaf of homemade cinnamon swirl bread that's just stored in a regular bread bag. This idea is not earth shaking either, but if you have Pyrex containers with a lid. You can just store things like baked goods, breads, muffins, leftover chicken, all kinds of leftovers in these containers. And the upside to doing this instead of using a plastic bag or plastic wrap is that once you put the lid on the container, you can stack things on it inside the fridge. So it's actually a little bit more efficient. The fifth idea I have for you is something that can help you replace saran wrap or other kinds of plastic wrap. They are silicone lids made by this company um, and if you've watched my YouTube videos before you know I really love these. I have a large one which is great for fitting over a watermelon or you can also use it to just cover a regular glass bowl. It comes in smaller sizes too. Here's the medium and a small one and actually there's some tiny ones that fit over mason jars as well. There are cheaper silicone lids out there but the reviews I've read on them have been kind of mixed. I can tell you that I've had these ones made by Like You for several years and they are still going strong, so I give them a thumbs up. I have one last item to show you that's kind of a dishonorable mention. There are these flat lids that you can use to put on a container that's made of glass or metal and they do provide kind of a suction lid as you can see here, I'm not holding on to the bowl at all. But the problem is if you push on them from the top, they do collapse. So they're not good for storing um, things in the fridge if you want to stack stuff. So I really like the stretchy silicone lids that really form a good seal around the bowl instead of these. Mm -hmm.